This is News Nation Prime. Welcome to the second hour of News Nation Prime, and we are closely following the aftermath of the Supreme Court's bombshell ruling to overturn Roe v. Wade, including the Planned Parenthood Association of Utah filing a lawsuit over the state's trigger law. The landmark decision sparking protests nationwide on both sides of the debate. The Supreme Court now leaving it up to the states. And as we continue to learn more about what this ruling means for millions of women around the country, some major U.S. companies now say they will support employees who need to travel to get a legal abortion, including Dick's Sporting Goods, Meta, and J.P. Morgan Chase. News Nation's Tom Dempsey leads us off tonight with this story. Tom. Hey, Rudabay. Yeah, this decision has not only led to big protests outside the Supreme Court building, it's also led to companies making their stances known on the issue. And it's even given us a glimpse into the future for what women could experience in states without access to legal abortion. As protests continued on Saturday outside the Supreme Court building following the decision to overturn Roe versus Wade, voices from both sides of the issue could be heard. We do not have the right to stop a heartbeat that God has put in place. I think it's tragic. I think it's heartbreaking. I think it's infuriating and frustrating. I think it's all of the things that the feels we don't want to feel. Following the ruling, another angle of the debate has emerged. Parts of corporate America made their stance known with companies like Amazon, Apple, Disney, Netflix, Starbucks, and Zillow, all saying they will reimburse travel for women's health services not available to employees in their home state. Dick's Sporting Goods released a statement saying it will provide up to $4,000 to employees as well as their spouses and dependents to travel to the nearest location where care remains available. <laughs> On Saturday, pro-choice supporters believed the responses from the companies showed progress. Maybe the tides are changing and there's, there is an actual change in the ethos of the country. But those agreeing with the Supreme Court's decision believe the corporate stances sent the wrong message. God knew us before. He knew us. What right do we have to kill his creation. A decision bringing America into a post-row era with employers now getting involved in the issue. And Ruta Bay, the uh, Patagonia, the outdoor apparel company, said it would take it a step further, saying it would provide training and bail to people peacefully protesting uh, for what they called, quote, reproductive justice. Wow. And, and Tom, what notable companies have we not heard from? Uh, we haven't heard from companies like McDonald's and Walmart, also Hobby Lobby, which won a case here in 2014 dealing with contracept contraceptives and health care and religious exemptions. That company, too, has remained quiet after this most recent ruling. Ruta Bay. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.